we certainly are experiencing a challenging situation, but we are surging resources and we have a multi-prong approach to this. We have sent a very clear message early on in light of the fact that we are in the midst of a pandemic, that the border is not open and people should not take the perilous journey here. We are returning uh, people to other countries. Yep, uh, that's what he says. Uh, DHS Secretary Mayorkas pressed on the thousands of migrants camped under that bridge in Del Rio, Texas, as he, the secretary, prepares to visit the area himself for a first-hand look. He's not going to like it. Uh, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton joins us right now from Texas. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, good morning. Good morning. So we just heard from the secretary. He said we sent a very clear message. The border is not open, and yet... Uh, that's not the message they're getting, is it? No, and that is not the message they've sent from day one. President Biden said, you're welcome to come here. We will not deport you. And that message was sent loud and clear. And Haitians have been give, given special protection. They're not being deported, the ones that are already here. And so the, the, the administration has even told them, you know, the ones that are here, we're not deporting. So that message has gotten through. And that's why you see that picture on the border with the thousands of people waiting to get in. Well, that just goes to show you how uneven the uh, application of, of the rules is, because if he gave the Haitians temporary protected status and now he's sending them back, he says, yeah, I changed my mind. You know, that explains why the Haitians are saying, hey, stop sending them here. We don't have room for our own people. No, that's exactly right. I mean, there is a reason that they're, the Haitians are here. He invited them by giving them that special protection. And that message got sent through their community. And that's why you, you saw so many show up so quickly. And that's the type of uh, message he's been sending since day one of his administration. Well, we understand that apparently they sent three flights of migrants back from San Antonio yesterday. There could be six flights later today as they try to look like uh, we're sending them back. Mm -hmm. They can't, you know, it's going to take 100 planes to send that many people back ultimately uh, as the people get off there in Haiti. But um, Mr. Attorney General, when, when you hear them say, all right, we've, we've closed the border, but that just amounted to some of your guys uh, at, at that dam where people were walking across and some also apparently a couple of Mexican police on the other side saying it's closed here, but they're coming in across the river about a mile down. Yeah, that's a joke. Those, those people know how to get through. They've made no real effort to stop them. If you just look at the immigration numbers in general, we're over 200,000 last month, over 200,000 the month before. That's a 300 percent increase. So this idea that somehow they're blocking the Haitians, they're not blocking the Haitians any more than they're blocking everybody else. They, they want illegal immigration. They want what that brings. And it's clear from how their actions, what their actions are, that that's, that's true. What do you make of the Senate parliamentarian handing the Senate Democrats and the White House a big loss yesterday in saying that uh, the Democrats cannot jam uh, some sort of immigration reform or pathway for citizenship for people here in their gigantic $3.5 trillion infrastructure bill that's not really about infrastructure? <laughs> Well, you know what? At least there's something right going in Washington. T typically, you have to have germaneness or some type of connection to a bill. And if you're going to stick immigration on this other stimulus bill or whatever it is, it has to be germane. I'm, I'm glad the parliamentarian ruled correctly. Sure. You've been watching what's going on on our southern border for years. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it now? So I would have to say I have never seen it this bad. I mean, we've been complaining about it for decades, and, and the federal government has ignored it other than the four years that Donald Trump was in office. And what's remarkable is he had so many good policies, whether it was a stay in Mexico program, whether it was the stopping the catch and release, right. the building of the wall, the, the, the resources that went into it. And now we've taken all the opposite policies and getting the opposite results. So my guess is this is exactly what the Biden administration wants. Well, and the secretary's coming your way to uh, eyeball it himself. Uh, Ken Paxton, the AG for TX, sir, thank you very much.